And welcome back to my garage, it's great to have you here. Um, today we're going to crack on with the floor pans. On the last video you saw me doing the sill so I could do that. Um, tomorrow I've got Kyle coming and he's really good at spraying so he's going to show me how to spray. So that's going to be interesting. Um, so today I'm going to get the grinder out and I'm going to crack on with these. I'm going to get them all ground down back to bare metal. Um, any little bits that are pitted too much are going to be cutting out and welding. So the whole pan tomorrow should be completely clean and ready for spraying. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to get it turned over a bit so I can hit the top. I've already had a good bash at the top. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming on well, I'm happy with it. Um, then tomorrow morning what I'll probably do is I'll glass blast the whole lot tomorrow morning. Uh, ready for its uh, paint job in the afternoon. So, uh, yeah, it's coming on. Been up since about six this morning, just finishing off those floor pans before Kyle got here. He's here now and just giving him a quick shot of glass before we paint it. So let's go catch up with him and see where he's up to. Now I thought I'd just a quick shot of Kyle uh, some of the glass blasting. Just give it a quick blast over with the glass. Base coat of primer on it, and you can see that really just takes off every last little bit. The primer is really good. Surface to bond on. Okay, now we've finished sandblasting. Uh, we're just giving it a go over with some thinners just to get all the little bits of dust off it. It's the third trip over with thinners now. And then we're going to do what's called stripe coating. Uh, and that's where you just a line of the uh, rust inhibiting primer we're going to be using uh, down all the grooves. And that's just before we actually spray it. And this is so that when we're spraying, in a groove you get a little bit of bounce back which stops the paint from going directly into the into the edges. So the stripe coat is put on first so that we've got good coverage. Looking good. Okay, let's have a closer look at this stripe coat. It is exactly what it says it is, a stripey coat. A line of paint in every single one of the grooves. That gives us a really good coverage when we put the coat on over top of that now. So, time to get some spray on it.
Okay, and there you have it. Do you know something? I am so pleased with that. Um, you saw us put the RE underneath and then we got this top coat. Uh, in the video you saw we do two coats, but there's actually, we put four coats of each type of paint on there. Uh, that's nicely sealed up now. It's not going to stay this, um, this dark grey colour. What we're going to do is, we're going to, it's going to be like a light grey and then the chassis which is coming through it is going to be like in a gunmetal grey and then the arms that come off that are going to be in another shade. Uh, so it's all contrasting underneath. But for now, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Come and have a closer look. Well thanks for joining us, it's been great to have you along, don't forget to like and subscribe and if you've got any uh, questions on anything that I'm doing uh, just send a, a message to the email address just below there. It's um, been great to have you along, take care, see you again, bye bye. And today, well today I've got to do what I do wrong, great to have you back at the garage, um, great to have you back my garage. And welcome back to my garage. I always do that one, don't I? Okay. Welcome back. This just to get rid of all the uh, the bits of dust from the. Do you know what? I so. Oh, we need a position. Yeah. Uh, I'm not actually going to leave it. In the, it's like a, do you know, I can't, I'm not sure what colour you'd call it, it's, it, it's like a, a very dark grey, it's not quite black, but not quite grey either. Um, right, we'll do that again, we'll get that. Um, no, right, I'll get that. Okay, there you go, and no, that's not that. Right. I'll walk in and do it, because yeah. when I walk in, I tend to get my words right, I know what I'm saying. Thank you, God. That's wrong. I'll keep it on this. Keep it just there. I'll say it again. Thanks for joining us. It's been great to have you at the I, Why do I always on this bit? Because it sounds right, but it doesn't sound right.